Hey guys, so today I want to tell you about the tourist destination that I visited. I visited Wakula Springs, which is one of the many springs in Tallahassee, and despite the thought that it's just a nature conservative and it's just a center just for nature, it is much more than that. It's a place where history runs through the roots, literally and metaphorically. So if you live in Tallahassee, which is all of us, it's a 35 minute drive from there and the scenery around you as you go to the Wakula Springs is just, it makes you fun and excited because there's funny street signs and there's cool houses and it just kind of excites you for what is to come. So when you finally get to Wakula, you don't have to break the bank. It is only $3 per person to get in, which is much cheaper than any amusement park that's $200 to $300. And it kind of just really enhances that Wakula is a place for natural pleasures. It gives you a tourist hotspot that is also just based on like how you how you are one with nature and how you bring out yourself with nature. It relieves stresses and everyday tasks and tassels, and it's not as stressful, obviously, as a amusement park and not as expensive. So once you're to the park, you'll see all the Spanish-style colonial buildings, and you must take a spot, a sign, a picture with a sign that says Welcome to Wakula because it's just a tourist must-have. And then you will see the swimming hole and also the boat tours um, area that is right behind the buildings. The swimming hole actually has manatees that swim 200 feet away from the swimming hole. So you'll literally be swimming with nature, with all these aquatic animals. And the boat tours are very low fee. And um, both these are offered for fun, but it's also natural. So as you travel your way from the swimming pit, you'll see the lodge. And you'll feel like you're transported to another time. The lodge is so antique, it's so old. And even the woman that I met, Linda, that works there, was antique and old herself. She was there for nine years, and Wakula Springs is her home to her. Even though we're visitors, that is her home. So she says that she loves the lodge because of its originality and vintage vibes. Um, the lodge was actually built in the 1930s, and the rooms are beautiful and antique. The prices vary depending on how long you want to stay there, what room you want, but it's just something that gives you a magical feeling every time you walk into it. So the lodge is also accommodated with um, a restaurant that is homemade meals literally any meal you can guess homemade meals that are so good and this is actually Linda's favorite part of working there she said she loves to meet all the new people she'll meet somebody from New Zealand and then she'll meet somebody from Texas and it just kind of ranges and she says she has new friends every single day so that's what Linda loves about like working at Wakula so after your stomach's full you're ready to charge onto the trails which are a 0.6 mile um trail which is isn't hard to finish because once you start you don't want to finish because it's so beautiful and there's big massive trees everywhere and you can see red bay trees and white ash trees and sweet gums and live oaks and if you're lucky you'll even see like alligators or like manatees and the sinkholes that are like surrounded by the trees so the hidden treasure of Wakula is most certainly because it just clears your mind and it clears all the stresses in your head and you also enhance the thought that Wakula is so environmentally cautious and it leaves you just with that refreshed and re-energized vibe. You'll come out with a new perspective and it'll just be so exhilarating to see that simple pleasures like nature can just leave a every mind-consuming thought you have back home. And also, Wakula is not just something that de-stresses you. It is literally a memorial of history. It is a packed place but that just consumes all the history that is within it. And history is only created if it is passed on in a repetitive cycle of conservation and from the leaves on the ground to the roots of the trees to the sky above, Wakula is all that. It is enlaced with history. And it's also translated as the river of mystery, which it definitely is. And it's not only full of history, but it also creates memories within your family. It's something that it eliminates the stresses of a fast-paced environment like an amusement park or everyday life. And it just will create natural pleasures and natural memories within your family. And Linda also says that she's so proud for this to be your home because... It's such a beautiful place, and um, she's really excited to share with open-minded people and people who are ready to explore the simple pleasures in life. So it's more than an environmental nature park that's just full of trees. Clearly it is. Each building, each tourist who enters, is should be, it should be more than just the thrills. So each, okay, so each tourist who enters this mystical destination is just flowing with history itself. And it flows through the roots and the trees and everything is just flowing with history. And tourism should be more than just the thrills and shrills of an amusement park. Definitely. And Wakula is that. And it will affect will be more beneficial than just going to an amusement park. So 
it'll be one with no regret. It'll be filled with emotion because it's truly a destination with history flowing through its roots and that has the ability to mend the mind and the soul and allow you to feel the history within it. So Akula is better than just a man-made park. It is better than anything that you can go to because it gives you those natural vibes and those natural feelings that will enlighten your mood. It will make you feel like you are actually a piece of history. Once you walk through Akula, you are its history. And that's just so wonderful to see. And I hope that you guys all liked my um, sharing of my destination. I hope that it just encourages you to actually visit Mukula because it's very cool and it's very beneficial.